Um, thank you, Chairperson. I'm sorry, Deputy Speaker. Um, as a portfolio committee, we were extremely excited to see how the film industry on a large scale is able to portray worlds that we see in movies and turn them into reality. The Cape Town Film Studio, which is partly funded by the Industrial Development Corporation, exposed just how much talent we have in this country and how diverse the film and entertainment industry is. It also exposed how white the film industry remains and how unwilling it is to transform. There is a huge potential for the Cape Town Film Studio to do more, not only in transforming its diversity, but also in doing more to equip and give capacity um, to the people who live in Kailicha, just across the road from them, uh, apart from using them as labor. The film industry in South Africa could benefit Minister from more studios like this one in Cape Town and diversify its local productions. I uh, will not go into the issue of the copyright um, amendment bill because that is something that we will seek to, 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 to make sure that it goes through and we would like for it to go through as soon as possible so that our people can benefit um, from copyrights uh, as well as the hard work they do. The film industry, okay, sorry. Um, as a committee, we also witnessed um, the amazing synergy of the noodle factory situated in Philippines, a well-functioning factory that employs hundreds of people in the surrounding township, also funded by the IDC. Their main issue was the power cuts once again that they are subjected to by ESCOM, which stalls production and costs the factory lots and lots of money and repairs and loss of income. It was saddening, however, to witness women who milled outside the factory whom we were told are there every day, looking for employment. A glaring sign that as a country, our people want jobs and they want them now. Our people want the opportunity to work and make a living for themselves, and that the state needs to do something in creating more job opportunities for its people. What was empowering in our oversight was witnessing a very powerful black woman who has overcome rejection to own the Rise Apparel Factory, which manufactures uniforms for boxes stores as well as pick and pay. It's funded by the National Empowerment Fund. This factory, also situated in, in Philippi, employs hundreds of people, as well as providing skills in making apparels. However, the owner um, lamented on how difficult it is for emerging businesses, business owners, to receive funding from our banks. I believe South African banks need to, to take emerging entrepreneurs seriously and commit to assisting our country grow. People need jobs, and for the country to grow, job opportunities need to be created. Banks need to commit to making this country grow. I thank you, Deputy Speaker.